I know what the fans want to see, you know. I know, I know what North East clubs are after. I know what the fans like, do you know what I mean? And I think I, I, I play football in that way. I show passion, and that's my game, do you know what I mean? So I think you can come off the pitch being a bit of a, a bit of a hero in the city if if, if it goes well. And um, like you say, everyone wants to play in these games, massive games for everyone. And I think just the whole atmosphere and the passion up in the North East is unbelievable. I love being without the ball. I feel like that's my job is to is to win the ball back for the team, and um, I enjoy doing that side of the game. Let's just go right back to the start from where it, where it all began. Uh, what was it like for a young lad growing up in Stockton? Yeah, it was uh, it was good. We started out normal kid life, you know, a lot of football. Glad you made me went to Middlesbrough Academy and um, yeah, grew up through there and, and uh, had a tough knee injury when I was first year apprentice, which was sixteen. Come back from there and um, managed to break into the first team not long after that, which was, which was, which was great. And then, um, and then it all really kicked off from there. You mentioned about breaking into the team young, 17 years of age, to make your, your Premier League debut against Newcastle United. Uh, a massive game for Middlesbrough fans and Newcastle fans. What was it like the moment you got told that you would be playing in that game? Yeah, I was, uh, I was delighted. Yeah, very nervous, and um, went out to warm up, calm down, and then. After that, it was just it was just here I am, you know. Let, let, let's get on with it. And how important for yourself was it to? You mentioned here I am, you know. How important was it to make that mark on your debut, you know, to, and to win it as well as that man of the match? Yeah, like you say, I was. I felt I was competing and training really well, and we, we had a lot of big players at the, at the time as well at Middlesbrough, and uh, I felt I was really competing and holding my own in, in training. I think that gave me a lot of confidence going into the game, and then I remember I just made a little challenge. Uh, shoulder to shoulder with Shearer actually and uh, I remember turning around and Southgate giving me a good G up you know and just saying well done and I just thought really settled me down early in the game. And from there you went on to become Middlesbrough's youngest ever captain age of 18. Mm -hmm. That sort of leadership quality you've, you've always displayed throughout your career, how important is that in terms of your own you know your own sort of st stance on the game? Yeah I think you know I think the talking and uh, uh, sometimes I, I I hope I'm not getting on me, my teammates' nerves. You know what I mean? Because uh, it's something I've always done. It's something that just keeps me alive. You know, it's the way it's the way I am, and um, you know, it's something I'll, I'll I'll do throughout my career. I'm sure. Um, so yeah, like I said, it's just it's something that gets me gets me right at it, and it's something I have to be doing. We were talking before you, you you came in that about how vocal you are in the sort of the, in the tunnel where before games. You know, is that your way of? G yourself up, or do you like to sort of do that to, you know, to G, G the lads up as well? I think it's just more making sure, you know. I just I hate to think that you, sometimes you go out and you think, oh, why didn't I just do that extra bit, you know, to make sure we were ready as a group and we were everyone was switched on. And because uh, there's so many games so quick and the lads have done it for so many years, it's quite easy sometimes just to switch off for a minute, you know. And um, I don't think that's being unprofessional. I think it's just normal. You know, that's just normal for everybody in life. You know, you can't always be really on it, and that's why you need your teammates just to just to help each other out. And sometimes I might need it, and I like to think my mates do it for me as well. And um, yeah, so that's that, that that's that's why I do talk a lot, and you know, pretty vocal. But um, yeah, that's it. Following your your move to Wigan, you you then obviously came to the North East um, with Steve Bruce. How how influential was he? Um, not only coming to the North East, but also you know. Throughout your career, how has he helped you on? Yeah, he's been great. You know, he, he took me at Wigan when I felt there wasn't quite a lot of takers at the time. You know, he, and, and he, he stuck his neck out and um, and took me up to Wigan. And I played. I think I played 34 or 38 games in the league that year and missed four through suspension. But uh, <laughs> now, he, like I say, he played me in every game, and I, I was only 20, I think. And um, yeah, he was great for me, and, you know, speaking to me, and he, he let me get on with myself as well. You know, he, he knew I was a young lad, and you know, and he, he let me get on with it. And uh, but then, you know, if I ever thought I was getting a bit carried away, he'd just give me a shout, and uh, he's he's helped me, you know, throughout my career. And um, he brought me up here, and he was a massive part of that. You know, I would never have come come up here if, if Steve hadn't have been on the phone. And, um, and I was here at Sunderland, you, you fit a particular mould of players, the likes of Kevin Ball and Gary Bennett, which I'm sure you've been. Been, uh, you know about, but mm -hmm. how important for yourself is that you you have that, you know, sort of wearing your your, your heart and your sleeve, if you like, you know, and really sort of expressing yourself in games. 
I think that's, like you say, that's, it, it is what it is. It, it is probably because I'm from up here, you know, I think that makes it a lot easier. It's, it doesn't, I don't think you can try and do something. You can't try and be a certain way. You've got to just be yourself. And if, if that fits whoever it is you're working for at the time, great. I know there might be some clubs who wouldn't want me in their team or, and, and that's what happens in football with everybody. But um, yeah, it, it just, something's just clicked up here and I think, you know, I, I've got the same feeling towards the club as I hope they've got towards me. You're currently Sunderland's longest serving player in the squad um, and probably, you know, you've been around for, for a few years now, so you're one of the more senior players in the team, you know. Um, what sort of impact do you have in the team and also, you know, taking, taking your, your few your, few years obviously to come here hopefully. Um, is it somewhere you'd like to end your career? Um, well I've signed a signed obviously a, a, a long term contract so um, yeah obviously now I see myself as a senior player. Um, I think that's only really came in the last year or so for me, how I feel. Um, but yeah, yeah obviously I'm a, more of a senior player now and um, I'd like to think I'm good around the place. I like to help people and you know, sometimes the, the lads need to look after the dressing room themselves. And um, yeah, so for me, it's I've signed the contract and I'm, uh, I'm very happy here. And I'd like to think we're going to get better and bigger as a club. Perfect. All right. Sweet. Yeah, thanks very much for that. No worries, lads.